Hi all, it's David from DP Computing. This time I've got a teardown of a Toshiba Satellite C850D. Um, we're just going to open it up because as you can probably hear, there's a rattle in the actual machine. So I'm just going to open it up to see what's rattling around inside. Now the first thing you have to do is take static precautions or anti-static precautions. So wear a wrist strap or something like that. And also, following these steps, um, you may damage the machine itself, so do so at your own risk. Now, the first thing you have to do is remove the battery, which is here. So just pull these tabs outwards. As you can see, this one here on this side is will click out. This one you have to hold, then just lift it up and the battery comes out. Just put it to one side. And then we want to do what we want to do is firstly remove this back panel. But what I'm going to say is, I've actually done it already, but there's these other screws around the side. Now in total there's 22 screws, with 21 screws actually getting removed. So on this part here, there's actually 11 screws, so I'll just show you. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's actually 12 with this one, but this one doesn't actually remove. It just unscrews, which I'll show you now. So just unscrew this. And what this will allow you to do is get into this panel here, and under there is the actual hard drive and memory. So there's just a little finger hole, just pull up and then pull it back. You've got two little tabs there and some tabs along the sides. Just be careful you don't break them. Now, first thing I've noticed is down here where the BIOS battery should be, it's missing. So that's probably the thing that's um, loose in the machine and causing all the noise. But anyway, what we've got here is the hard drive and also memory. So to remove the hard drive, there should be a little tab, a little silver tab. So if you just pull that out and up, it should come out. So that's the hard drive out and here's the memory. To remove the memory, there's two silver things on the edges. Just pull them outwards and the memory pops up and you can pull that out, put it back in, just slot it in and push it down until it clicks. Now here we've got the DVD drive or optical drive and that's held in by one screw which is here. So just remove that screw uh, and as a side they're all um, Phillips head screws and they're all the same size screws so you don't have to worry about knowing where the screws go. So once that screw there is removed you can pull out the optical drive. Now under this panel we just removed there's an extra four screws you have to remove. So there's um, one there, so one, two, three, and that one we've just removed. So I've removed them all just to make it a bit easier. Now what you'll notice is you can go around the edges now and start pulling, pulling it out, but it's, the back cover still won't come off. We have to remove some screws that are un actually under the keyboard. So we'll just pop this around the other way. And now under the actual keys here on the bottom side, there's some actual little tabs. Now the under the, end, I'll start with this side, there's one under the enter uh, button, just pull them down. And as you pull them down, the keyboard itself should slowly start to pop up. So just pull it down. So there's one under enter, there's one under the zero. Uh, there's one under the left arrow key. So they can be a bit hard to see, especially if your um, laptop or your um, keyboard is a bit dusty. Uh, the next one is under the Alt key. Then there's one under the Space Bar. And one in between the Windows key and the Alt key. And there's the last one under Control. Now once you've got the keyboard up, you have to pull it backwards, like towards me here and you'll see it pops up, but don't just yank it, as you'll see there's a little connector that's connected. So here's a connector, it should have a little beige bit which you can pull up, and then the actual cable will come out. Now under here, there'll be an extra six screws. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you have to remove all those screws, which I've done previously, and then just Turn it around again, 
and we should be able to get something small um, like a little knife or something under the edges and just sort of slowly start to work your way around the unit and um, pop off the cover now just it's probably a bit big yeah I've just lost all the screws I, oh, screwdrivers I have so yeah a flathead screwdriver or a small knife or something um, will help you get in and under so just be careful you don't push um, whatever you're using to pop up the case too far in because you could damage something on the motherboard so there we go we can see it pops off and that's the underside of the top case and here oh, it's actually right down by where the battery is is what was causing all the noise um, but anyway well we've got it opened up you can see where I showed you before the memory uh, spot for the hard drive there we've got the trackpad uh, the optical drive gets plugged in there uh, I've got the Wi-Fi adapter the CPU heat sink and fan um, you probably can't see it too much but the heat sink here is a bit dusty so you can use some compressed air or a brush just to brush that dust off and give it a clean up a bit then we've got the power adapter the power adapter sometimes gets broken so that's easy to remove just pull it up and you'll see it's attached to a little cable just unplug it all and then um, it's attached to a white socket which plugs into the main board so you can easily remove that and plug it plug a new one in um, what else have we got here we've got the BIOS battery which goes there um, to put a new one in just slot it in and push it in it should hold itself and probably that's about all um, we've got same with the keyboard if you need to replace that I'll show you how to pull it, pull it out and to put a new one in we just need to get the new keyboard um, got the cable here the ribbon cable just slot it into the socket just make sure it's all lined up then push that beige thing down until it clicks in place and then just put it into the top and then push it down so all the bottom things click so there we go that's a um, bit of a tear down for the Toshiba Satellite C850D. If you've got any questions, please leave them below and please visit our website, which should be coming up on the screen now. Just click the link and go to our website at DP Computing. Thank you guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.